Jeez. Uh, welcome back, everybody. This is Political Hot Seat. I'm here with candidate Rick Marshall for sheriff. And uh, he was just telling me he wants a, a, a grilled cheese sandwich. So anybody out there watching, please make him a grilled cheese sandwich. And uh, tomato soup. And tomato soup. And tomato soup. But anyway, uh, we're going to get into the budget. The sheriff's department's always had, you know, we read in the paper or hear on the news, but go ahead, uh, grants and budgets. You know, the... Uh a few years ago, Joanna Cody uh, was an assistant sheriff on the sheriff's office. She ran our budget, and she ran it very, very tight. And what would happen is at the beginning of the calendar year in January, we would start putting the budget together. She would ask me, how many openings do we have? Are people getting raises? Are people getting incentive pay? Where are we at on these things? And we would project out who's going to get the raises, who's going to get incentive pay, who's going to do this. When Joanna left, the county took over that portion for the employees. Since then, it doesn't seem that we have enough money to pay our bills. Um, our service and supplies has been cut year after year after year. And government business costs money to run. You know, I, I was at the town board meeting um, Tuesday night, and I heard Harley say that he had heard the sheriff's office was a million dollars over budget. Simply not true. We, at the end of the year, asked for about $160,000 uh, budget augmentation. And what happened was in the beginning of the year, they took, they meaning the county, took $158,000 from our budget for communications. The theory was we had budgeted $150,000 in last year's or year before last budget, but we spent $318,000. So, what they were going to do is take the extra 158000 out because they transferred our communication budget to the uh, information technology department. And we told them, don't take that money. We didn't have it in our budget. We had to get it augmented. And the county was insistent that they were going to take it. And I said, you're taking money that we didn't have. Don't do it. So they reduced our budget by the 158000 and sure enough, our budget came in for service and supplies at about 160,000. We haven't got the final figures yet over budget, so that 158 would have brought that that we look at on the sheriff's office is grants. Um, it was said during one of the candidate nights that, oh, grants are real simple. You just check a few boxes, send it in, and they give you the money. It's not how grant works. Anybody that's dealt with grants understands uh, the research that has to go into it. It's a competitive process, uh, the writing of it, the scoring of it, and then once you receive it, um, the administering of it, and then the audits that go with it. Uh, you have to stay on top of those things. So um, we have been very fortunate on the sheriff's office in uh, the 28 years that I've been with the sheriff's office um, I've been involved in grants for the past 23, 24 years, and we've brought in just over $22 million in grants that have paid for everything from personnel to equipment to station remodelings, things like that. And, and the one thing about grants is government operates funds, then the government or whoever's lending the money to you can either write it off not fund you on any other grants. They can demand repayment. They can stop payment on any future grant fundings that you have, um, payment requests. And they can, in fact, go back and charge interest. We've never had to repay a grant. Um, and we've never been penalized to the point where we are barred from receiving grants. Well, well yeah, there's, like I said, there's probably a lot of confusion on this uh, matter about grants and funding. And and even the uh, sheriff's, uh, to me, the sheriff's department of the county is like the, the Pentagon is for the, the country, is you're to uphold the laws and protect the people in the county, the same as that's where I feel the federal government's got completely out of whack because they're supposed to uphold the laws, the Constitution, and defend the people of the United States, and yet they are way out on everything else that, even imaginable, you that, know. That's correct. Yeah. And 
And it's not to create more laws. When they came out with the uh, texting law, with the cell phone law, law enforcement in general shook their head because we already had a law in the books called distracted driving. So right. if you're driving down the road and you're swerving and you're distracted because you're talking on your cell phone, we already had a law in the books. The idea is not to add more laws and add more government bureaucracy and add more ways <coughs> for the government to get you. It's to take the existing laws, apply common sense to them, and enforce those existing laws, not create more laws and more laws. Now, as more technology comes on, there may be a need to draft legislation, but what you ought to do is look at the existing laws. If those are not working, get rid of those laws and get laws that will work. But they don't get rid of them. No, they time. don't. They keep them and they just make the law. Because I know uh, back when uh, I was in high school, uh, that was a few years ago, but we did have automobiles. But <laughs> in the state of Iowa, it was illegal to start your vehicle if there was somebody on a horse or a carriage Yes, because it would start the, the, Yeah, the the car was uh, scared them, but that one goes back to where you used to have to crank them and they backfire when they start up and that. Yes, you know, and so but they never did away with one law to create another law. They just kept them all in the books, so the book got bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, and it, you know, but uh, and that's uh, the thing about like this texting, and then I understand especially texting more so than talking on the phone. I mean, the texting, the per person sitting there trying to spell a word out on it, which yes. I have a heck of a time just doing, sitting in, on the couch to get the word spelled right. Yes. But, you know, but, so I understand that. I, the cell phones and everything, technology is wonderful, it's great, but I just wonder how we existed before it came. I'll tell you what, it, uh it puts a whole new meaning on reach out and touch someone. Yeah, you know you're you're tied you're tied to these things 24/7. Right. Um, now I got to use excuses. My my phone wasn't working right. Well, I, I found something out interesting about this the other day. Um, it fell in a pool of water. Now I've been known to drop this a couple of times, so yep. it's got the hard case, it's got the rubber case, and everything. And these phones are expensive, so. When I dropped it in the um, uh, pool of water, I immediately, of course, grabbed it out and shook it off and took it apart and wiped it all down. Then I went on the internet um, and it said, put it in a bag of rice. Oh, really? So I put it in a bag of rice for about eight, 10 hours and pulled it out and- Works great. Though. Everything seems to be working great. Well, I got a little cheap phone, see, because my, everybody makes fun of me and I say, well, all I needed to do is if somebody calls me, I can speak to them. I could call somebody else. I said, I don't need to be on the internet, <laughs> you know? Yep. But, but running for our office and that, you guys do, because all this YouTube stuff, like this yep. show will be on YouTube come, and everybody in the world will hear me crying yep. about having to. My, my children tell me, you know, Dad, you've, you've got this really super neat phone. Do you know everything it does? And I say, well, it texts and it lets me talk to people. Oh, no, it'll do much more than that. Oh, yeah. I, I don't need it to do much more than that. Oh, anything technically breaks down around my house, I get my granddaughter to come yes. fix it. <laughs> we, we came out of a restaurant one time with some friends of ours, and he took his phone and did something to it, and his car started up. <laughs> well, that would scare me. That, that would have me totally scared. Anyway, we're going into it, and we welcome you back, and I will see what I can do to maybe put together a debate. And I look forward to coming and, back. Um, and and good luck, and uh, maybe we'll get more people to call because I'm not going to be able to keep offering. Uh, I, the people are out there watching. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, I just wish they would call in and ask the questions themselves because uh, I don't they, feel they it's my be, position to they, ask the questions. They could be enjoying a grilled cheese sandwich with a nice bowl of tomato soup. That's it, yeah, they could be. And. Uh, Anyway, that's it for this Thursday. We will be back next Thursday. I'm not sure who's going to be on. I think I had one person cancel, but then somebody else wanted it. So anyway, come in next Thursday. We'll have some more trivia questions. Anyway, everybody have a great weekend. Take care.